Hey folks, welcome to my daily use computer. This is my desk, and I haven't shown my main computer setup in a while. If you remember, I think way, way back, it used to be a desktop that was sitting down here where all this crap is now. Uh, and uh, the only sort of glimpse of my main computing area has been the video on that Packard Bell and the Leo, really. Well, this is my main computing area. It's right next to it. As you can see, I have... I have my Topre Switch keyboard with those uh, red keys on it. Got my wrist rest here. Got a nice Staples mouse pad here with the Microsoft mouse. All connected to this machine. Let me get this Hyundai SSD out of the way. Yeah, Hyundai makes SSDs. How about that? I have to install that in the machine. Anyway, here's my main buddy. You guys may remember the video I did on the ThinkPad T440P. This is my main daily use computer. I use this thing every day when I don't need to be using Windows. I use Linux as my main operating system. And this thing runs Debian 8. Soon It'll soon run Debian 9 next year. And I'm sure we'll do a video on the upgrade process when that happens. But anyway, here's the setup. This is a ThinkPad T440P. Uh, this is the one I did surgery on to replace the T440P's ab uh, abysmal click pad with the uh, trackpad and buttons from the T450 so I, I literally did surgery to make this laptop I made this laptop great again <laughs> um, it does not have the backlit keyboard because I really don't need it at my desk uh, it does have a 1600 by 900 screen though which is nice um, and the, the T440P is kind of a, almost a last of its kind it's the last ThinkPad before they really started focusing all their attention on sort of, sort of the ultrabook form factor. Now the T450s and T460s are all ultrabooks. This is sort of the last one that didn't have that affectation. This one still has an optical drive, which is the main reason I chose it over the T450 I have. Uh, it has this has more ports and more features. It has some ports on the side, all that stuff. And the best part about this is, let me move my. Uh, uh, keyboard cover there. Show you, I have it in a dock. Let me take it out of its dock real quick. I have it in a ThinkPad dock here. It's this little dock I have on top of the uh, my Compact Desk Pro EN here. I'm literally using this both as storage and as a way to prop up the machine a little bit for posture. I have all my stuff plugged into the dock here. Uh, Ethernet, USB stuff, keyboard, you know, everything. My card reader as well. And uh, there's your laptop. If I need to take it off of the dock and take it somewhere, I can. And there you go. I do have to take it out of the dock sometimes to do maintenance. Like uh, yesterday, I actually uh, changed out the drive in it. It used to have a one terabyte Seagate SH SSHD in it, and I replaced it with this 750 gigabyte uh, Crucial SSD. Uh, because I don't trust Seagate that much, so I decided to jump on this Black Friday deal, and I got this thing for like $170 or something uh, for 750 gig. The diff the reason I got this so, rather than a terabyte is because the, ter the going up to one terabyte was a gigantic price hike. So I went for the 750. I, I installed that yesterday, cloned the discs, and it runs great. It runs really fast. Uh, this this machine has been awesome as a main computer for the months that I've used it as one. Uh, so let's turn it on. There you go. Watch how fast this thing boots. It's pretty insane. Get past the boot menu here. Bam! There's your login screen. <laughs> nice and quick. I really like that about this machine, especially since that SSD upgrade it is fast to boot. I just log into uh, Debian here, and uh, you know it works. Log into my machine here, and there you go. There's my typical mixer background. Sorry about the flickering. My camera is not liking this very much, I guess. And you have my typical Debian install, where I have things like. Uh, Dropbox, FileZilla, Firefox, ESR, Chrome, Telegram, IceDove, which is the uh, which is kind of the Debian version of Thunderbird. It's just Thunderbird transmission, 
LibreOffice Suite and uh, Calibre for ebooks. We also have Sight, which is basically Notepad. Uh, Asunder CD Ripper, I have Audacity on here, Banshee, which is iTunes basically on Linux, Prezero for burning CDs. Yes, I still burn CDs with that drive, which by the way, works great. Uh, Easy Tag for metadata stuff, Gnome M Player, Handbrake, I love Handbrake, uh, Open Shot for editing the occasional video. I used to do full time Open Shot, but I got s on the, on my uh, Linux machine for editing video for YouTube. But I got sick of uh, waiting forever for it to render, so <laughs> I moved back to Windows for video editing. Sound Converter, which is the best batch conversion sound program I've ever used. VLC, of course. Uh, GW, uh, HTOP, what else do I have on here? Gparted, Synaptic, you know, all the usual Linux stuff. And I also have TeamSpeak and Firestorm and various other things I use. I spend most of my time in Chrome on this machine. And for that reason, I put a bunch of RAM in it. I have 16 gigs of RAM in here, as you can see. And I made a 32 gig swap file to compensate for, you know, twice the amount of memory. Um, and you, as you can see, it doesn't really use much memory when it's just sitting there doing nothing. But you open Chrome and start and have a billion tabs open, you'll eat like eight to ten. I've, ate, I've eaten eight to ten gigs over time, so it's 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 kind of insane. But yeah, this is my daily routine machine. I I go on here and I mostly live in the web browser, um, you know, Telegram, instant messaging stuff, social media. Uh, team speak and other stuff. I basically go on here for recre for my recreational computing, which is all this thing needs to do. I go to my Windows machine, uh, my desktop, for work and for gaming, pretty much. That's all I really use that for. Uh, that and, v that and uh, virtual machines and things like that. Uh, but this machine is just used for recreation. I prefer to use Linux when I don't need to use Windows, but for work and for gaming I need Windows, so that's why it's on that machine, but not on this one. I am an avid Linux enthusiast, as you guys have learned over time, so there you go. This is my main machine. Um, this is that chair I got at the RE store, the nice leather chair, so I can just sit in this thing here, tilt the screen down. I did turn the font sizes up and things like that because I'm sitting fairly far away, and I just type on this keyboard here so that I have the, uh, the 10 key and everything over there. And you know, go into the terminal and do whatever. And this has been great as a main computer. It's allowed me to fit a lot more stuff here. Like I can put the Leo here. I can put the Packard Bell down there. I also have this uh, TV cabinet thing here that I have a receiver on top of, and a TV here that has a Chromecast attached to it. So I could be work. I could be doing something here and have like one of Lewis Rossman's live streams playing on this TV, which I actually do pretty often. Uh, which is nice. So I do the same thing with another TV. Uh, might as well show you the back of that. There's a uh, there's a Chromecast back there. Those things are great. I love the Chromecast. But yeah, that's my. Uh, I haven't done a video on my main computer setup in a while, and this is what I've done with it. It's become a very um, it's become a, a very simple setup. I just use a laptop now. Uh, just because it's convenient. If I need to move it for whatever reason, I can just take it out of the dock and unplug the dock and move it. Uh, moving the desktop around became a complete pain. This is way better. And, uh, yeah, plus I have a way to store some of my old machines, like my Compaq here and my Leo here, which I actually, I actually use the Leo, but the Compaq is currently not in use. It's just basically being used to prop up this laptop so that I don't have to look down at the monitor. I look at it straight on. Uh, that helps with neck issues, if any of you have those. So, oh yeah, and the other thing I have are these speakers. Which I'll plug in here. I have these, uh, these Newcomb, what are these? They're Newcomb NC300s. Um, Clyde Sight did a video on these, and I thought they sounded great in his video. And, uh, I decided to pick some of these up, and they do sound pretty, pretty great. Um, you know, and it beats the hell out of the laptop speakers, I will say that. <laughs> so, I'll give you a little sample. Now, the laptop.
laptop speakers don't sound as good in comparison. Let's prove that real quick. I mean, they're passable, they're usable, but they're not that loud. So, these speakers are just way better. Plus, they have more bass and everything. I mean, if you take one of the grills off, you get you get two woofers. I guess you could call these woofers, and you get a tweeter. So you get much more discreet sound out of these. Plus, you have a metal, nice metal mesh here. These speakers are fantastic. Uh, I'm glad I jumped on these when I got the chance, because these are these I don't see that often anymore. Uh, they were on, um, I think, Parts Express for a little while as new old stock items, and then they just kind of disappeared after a while. But if you happen to see these somewhere, grab them. They they're, they they sound pretty good. So there you have it. That is uh, that is my main computer setup. It is just a laptop running Linux attached to some speakers, and it's got its own keyboard and mouse and everything. But there you go. I've I've kind of simplified a little bit. Uh, I I I started doing that with the bedside computer, and now I've done that with my main computer. Now my desktop is still always going to be a desktop. I think just because I I like to be able to control what goes into that. But I've been very happy with ThinkPads running Linux as just you know, workhorse regular machines to use, so that's what I've decided to use as a main computer. And uh, there you go. Before I go, I should probably talk about the specs of the machine, so let's take a look at those, shall we? There you go, it's a ThinkPad T440P. It's uh, release, it, it's running Debian 8.6 right now. Soon Debian 9 by next year, more than likely. Uh, the Linux kernel, as you can see on Debian, is getting a bit a bit old now. Uh, this has a Core i5 4300M in it, so it's a real chip. It's not a soldered chip, as far as I can tell. You could actually upgrade that and change it if you wanted to, which is another good reason to have a machine like this. The T450, I couldn't upgrade if I really wanted to. But yeah, I thought before I go, I'd mention the specs. And it has 16 gigs of 1600 Mushkin RAM in it, which uh, has been pretty good so far. Uh, I've never really used Mushkin RAM before, and I've had pr and this stuff seems to work okay. So hopefully, no fa failures in the future. Um, yeah, all I can say is 16 gigs in a laptop is really nice. I recommend it. Anyhow, uh, that's that's a bit of a waffle about my main computer here, the ThinkPad T440P. It's a lovely machine, and I do recommend these if you if you want an old style ThinkPad with newer hardware in it. Um, that you know, and by old style, I mean before they really focused on these. Be they start focusing on the ultrabook form factor being every professional machine. This is kind of the last of an era in terms of that. So, if that's what you're looking for, I would grab one of these. They're they're great. I like these a lot. So, anyhow, I hope you enjoyed the video, folks, and. Uh, have a good one, everybody. Ciao.